we're going to try something out. I got some tape. I'm going to tape up some of the cameras and see how many cameras we can tape up before it won't let me get on autopilot. All right, this is the road we're going to be on. You can see that it'll let me on autopilot now. Hopefully you can see that. And we're going to pull off to the side here and cover up a camera. Let's cover up these side cameras here. Cover up both of them on the sides. Now those two cameras on the side fenders are covered up and we're going to see if it will allow us to go on autopilot. Yep. Allows the autopilot. So let's change some more. Those two cameras were the ones that were turned on apparently with this new update. So I thought by covering those up it would be like the, just like before. But let's cover up the back camera and the two side pillars. I don't think those are turned on anyway. You like the tape? And back camera's taped up. And now the side camera. As you can see, the back camera is covered up. Looks pretty funky. Got my seatbelt on, and let's go. Right away. I can get on autopilot. So let's cover up the cameras up top. Let's cover up the far left one. And the far right one. Alright, let's see if it allows autopilot. Yes it does. I can still be on autopilot with, uh, with those cameras. And this was tested before. But I'm going to try something different. What I've done is i covered up everything so the wipers are actually going off too. So, what I'm doing here, I've covered up all three cameras on the windshield. But I've taken off the tape on the side fenders. And we're going to see if it'll actually put on autopilot with those. Here we go. Yes, it does. It's actually giving me autopilot with just the side fenders, the fender cameras only. All three cameras up top are covered up, along with the rain sensor, that's why the wipers are going. But it is just using the fender cameras right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera, the tape off of the door pillars and cover up the fender cameras so just the door pillars are on. And we'll see. Now it's not going to see, I'll, I'll run right into that because it's not seen in front. So let's try that. You can see I got all three covered there. I'm going to take the tape off of here and put it back on the fender. So now, now we'll just have these on. Seatbelt and we'll see what happens. All the cameras are covered except for the door pillars. And once we hit the road here, we will see. And I have autopilot. Now that doesn't make sense. I didn't think those side cameras were on. Maybe I don't have enough tape on the front windshield. I'm going to put a big piece of tape across those, those cameras and see. I'm getting a little strange. I'm going to take a big piece of tape, cover up everything on that windshield. I mean, you see that. Now that's covered. So again, those are uncovered. Those are covered. And we're going to go see if we can get autopilot. Depicts the speed. We're out on the road again. And it's off and on. I can get autopilot. The door pillar cameras are on. That's insane. I, I can get autopilot with just the door pillars. It is all over. It's, it's worse than a drunken teenager. It's more like a drunken toddler driving. But still, I mean, look how crazy this is. It's all over. And it's not going to see that. Whoa! <laughs> it saw that road take off that way. That is amazing. We have, we have 
not just the fender cameras but the side all all the side cameras are on it's probably using the backup camera as well that is why it is doing so well on the road that is why it can make those sharp turns so i think that is a great find to find out that um you can actually drive with, uh, you can actually have autopilot without these cameras working up front at all. Just the side cameras. And that's why it's able to stay so solid in the road. It sees up higher off of these side cameras so it knows where it's at. It's a great day for Tesla. Check you out on the next one. That was amazing. I'm going to take all the tape off now. <laughs>